Hi, I'm Danny. I'm Martin. I'm GT. And I'm Adrian. And we're the, the Aussie, Aussie Bob Slay team. team. We're having a great time here at St. Moritz for the World Bob Slay Championships. Hope you're all watching it on Channel 9's Wide World of Sports. Don't get excited, Al! If the Yatsa found a novel way of protecting his nose from the below zero temperatures, then in their distinctive Spider-Man racing gear, it was down to business for the Australians. Adrian and his team are in their third season in Europe, and from being figures of fun amongst the crack East German, Austrian and Swiss bobslayers, the Australians are now admired for their determination and courage. Uh, this 100 years of Bob Sport, uh, the birthplace of bobbing here at St. Moritz, it's been a fantastic tournament, good organising committee, great race, we got pretty good results and we're very happy with it. How do you do by comparison with the other warm weather countries, people like Jamaica and the Virgin Islands and that? Uh, I think we're out of that league now, we're way ahead of all the other warm weather nations, we're on the fringe of the established nations, the Brits, the Americans, we're right up their uh, sort of alley now and uh, you know within a couple of years we'll be knocking them off fairly easily we hope. <laughs> it costs around about a hundred thousand uh, Australian dollars to do a season here, four or five month season. How do you manage it? We've got great support back home from the Australian Olympic Federation, our sponsors, uh, TUIs, Waco, EPL Kone, uh, great supporters, they've uh, put a lot of faith in us and um, you know it's because of them that we're over here competing. The season isn't over yet. What have you got left then? Uh, we, after this, we go over to Calgary for about a month. We're doing some training, South Pacific Championship with the uh, New Zealand teams, and uh, then the final World Cup race in Calgary. Uh, that'll be the end of the season for us. Looking ahead two years to the Olympics in Albertville in France, are you in with an outside chance of a medal there? Uh, everyone who goes in the race is in with a chance of a medal, I suppose. But, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to consolidate our position in the top third of the field. If we can do that, we'll be very happy. And, you know, once you're in the top 15, well, a bit of luck are away and you end up in the top 10 or top 8. So we'll be quite happy with that. As always, the World Championships at St. Moritz were dominated by East Germany and the Alpine countries. Harold Tudor, the number two East German driver, and in particular, Gustav Vedo, Switzerland, racing on his home track, were the two outstanding performers. The East German and his team eventually finished second in the four-man championship. But there was literally no stopping Switzerland's number one team and their driver, Gustav Veda, who the previous weekend had won the two-man event. Over the four runs which made up the championship, Veda finished a mere 49 hundredths of a second ahead of Tudor. The Australians finished well down the field in 24th place, but that's only nine seconds behind the winner over a distance of 6,000 metres. Not bad going.